A group initiative was recently launched to send a clear and strong message to those involved with copper wire thefts. Crime doesn't pay. Crime doesn't pay. Uh, for some of these folks that are causing so much damage to this community, uh, we're after them and we're going to get them. And with over a thousand feet of copper wire theft reported since February, Governor Eddie Calvo has put out a directive to begin Operation Copperhead. We've put out an executive order, a directive, basically to put a compliance audit on all uh, uh, businesses that are, are conducting and transacting business dealing with recycle, recyclable goods. The Guam Police Department will take the lead on Operation Copperhead with the Department of Rev and Tax, Guam Customs and Quarantine, the Guam Environmental Protection Agency, and the Guam Homeland Security Office of Civil Defense enlisted to carry out the initiative's mission. It's important uh, that uh, uh, we, we, we get uh, in top of this thing and in front of it. This, uh, these issues that are occurring right now uh, and the growing uh, uh, the theft uh, of recyclable goods is, is causing a, a severe detriment to the community. The mission of Operation Copperhead is twofold. The first is having a multi-agency operation targeting all scrap metal dealers to ensure 100% compliance on public laws related to copper wire theft. For instance, in 2008, Public Law 29-70 provided regulatory legislation for scrap metal dealers to combat the growing crime trend whereas Public Law 29-72 added a criminal penalty for failure to follow the legal regulatory and reporting requirements. The second part of the mission is to apprehend those who are responsible for copper wire and other metal thefts, along with deterring future crimes. I think this is an effort that's community-wide, and our administration is also working with, with the mayor's offices and the different communities. Uh, and of course, we've made those announcements even in the media about those citizens uh, uh, out there in the community that have uh, either have suspicions or have seen some sort of activity uh, to please uh, to contact the authorities so that we can move forward from there. The directive comes just as a group of public safety agencies and stakeholders met earlier this month to formulate a short and long-term strategy to address the recent copper wire thefts. Governor Eddie Calvo says while the Criminal Justice Task Force existed to combat crime, this directive comes as a result of the extreme cases and the growing tendency of these copper wire thefts. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.